and also long time referred to Jarvis Street as a cultural landscape. Cultural landscape is a collection of things. So we want to understand this collection and part of what I want to make sure our community members have the opportunity to do is to offer up your understanding of what's significant and important along Jarvis Street so we can make sure that as we move forward, those things are um, protected and enhanced within this process. And part of what we need to do is, as we move forward, is also, and I, I encourage everybody to think about this, we want to identify what we want to emphasize, what we want to promote, what we want to protect and incorporate, um, and how we want to see that incorporation um, happen. And also take, a, take a, some um, thinking about what we might want to restore. Is there anything about the, the former days of Jarvis and any of the periods that, that uh, Gary and Michael and Lori have described that we actually want to bring back? What have we lost? And how do we want to commemorate uh, what we've lost? But also, the significant piece here is we understand we're moving forward. And so, what kind of direction do we want to give both to uh, City Hall in terms of what we want to see in the public realm? What about uh, private investment? What sorts of developments uh, do people want to imagine for Java Street? And how do they uh, imagine those developments incorporating all the best pieces of what we have now and, and what we've had developed historic, historically? So this is about finding a balance. It's about knowing what to keep. It's about deciding what to encourage and really making sure that every a decision that we make through this process, um, we understand what um, the city needs to appreciate and value about Java Street, and also how we can, like, for example, the, the project at Allen Gardens that Michael's talking about, things that we can do to invigorate Java Street now, so that we're not just trying to make it into a 19th century version of a 21st century street. We need to see it as something that is going to be the sum of its history and also have a very important future that people in, in 50 years will look back and say, that was the watershed moment for John Street in the 21st century. So history is always a sort of moving target. So in your discussions tonight, I, I'll be really listening carefully to know what people uh, understand to be significant about buildings, uh, public spaces, we make notes about that and making sure that as we move forward that we have a complete inventory and understanding of, uh, of what we want to keep. Uh, and what we want to move into the future of the street.